Many viewers have asked us, what are all those advanced power settings in Windows? In this video, we'll go down the list and we'll explore a few of the advanced settings you may find useful. Go into Control Panel and select Power Options. Each plan has its own settings and advanced configurations. Click on Change Plan Settings for the one you want and then on Change Advanced Power Settings. Keep in mind that you can always click to restore default settings to undo any changes that you've made. The hard disk option affects HDDs only and not SSDs, so depending on your PC, this setting may have no impact. There are a few settings aimed at Internet Explorer, and the desktop background settings deal with managing a slideshow. The wireless adapter settings power saving mode helps save significant power and increases battery life. However, you may experience problems when connected to wireless hotspots if you change from the default settings set by Microsoft. Sleep includes Sleep and Hibernate, but for desktops, there is also a hybrid option. The Allow Wake Timers option lets you control whether wake-up timers are enabled or disabled on a system-wide basis because even when sleeping, Windows can wake up to receive updates. So by disabling this option means not even Windows will be able to wake up your PC for updates. The Important Wake Timers Only option, on the other hand, still lets Windows wake up your PC just for critical tasks such as system updates. USB Settings has a nifty little selective suspend setting option which allows Windows to automatically power off connected USB devices when not in use. However, this setting may cause problems with some USB devices. Intel Graphics Mode is your basic trade-off between performance and battery life, power buttons and lid are pretty self-explanatory, and PCI Express is used to manage serial-based PCIe devices. The three processor power management options are best left untouched but within system cooling policy, active is a good choice for a desktop and passive is a better option for a laptop on battery power. Display has basic options and most users don't need to worry too much about changing the multimedia settings. Battery has the most options available, but it's pretty straightforward and they all work in the same way. You can set the limits to define your critical or low level and when it hits these levels, you determine if you want a notification or not. You can also decide what action the computer will take, sleep, shut down, hibernate, or do nothing, when it hits the limit set. For the reserve battery level, we recommend leaving it set to the default. If you need help or have any questions, contact us through social media on Facebook or Twitter, or join in a chat on the Dell Community Forum. Be sure to check out any of our other informative videos on this channel, and if you like this video, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.